Right. So what do you reckon your heart does when you exercise? Well, the heart's there to pump blood around your body. So we need to look at how it does that. Obviously, it doesn't look like that. But it's the best way to see what's going on. Your blood comes back from the body, all tired and out of oxygen. The first bit of the heart it goes into is called the right atrium. This is a weak little sack that just needs to collect the blood and move it on to the next bit of the heart. And that's the right ventricle, which has the job of sending the blood up to the lungs to pick up oxygen. This bit's called the pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary is just a fancy word for something to do with the lungs. Now the blood comes back to the heart, all perky and full of oxygen, into the left atrium, this side. That's right, the same as if you're looking down at your own heart. The left atrium pumps it into the left ventricle, and that's the strongest part of the heart that's got to pump all that oxygen-rich blood around your whole body. Now, let's see what the heart actually looks like. Looks like bagpipes, doesn't it? But just think of it as a big muscle. The muscle you need to exercise so all your other muscles get oxygen. I said exercise! Come on! Faster! You see? It's pumping faster. That's its heart rate. And deeper. That's its stroke volume. And put that together. When you exercise, your heart manages to double the amount of blood it can pump round your body. And most of that blood is carrying oxygen to your muscles that are working harder. I said work harder. In fact, your muscles consume 80% of the blood flow during exercise. And when you're sat on your ass, they get a measly 10%. Now that's tidy. And who said you could stop? Move it! <laughs>